Hello guys, welcome to Zebed J's blog. Today we'll be celebrating two special people. Happy anniversary to Pastor Eze and Pastor Emma. Welcome me to this channel. And this is Pastor Eze and his beautiful wife, Pastor Eno. Thank you Lord for the, we bless the Lord for your ministry and your ministry will continue to grow. Let me say a bit about them. Pastor Jerry Eze is the dynamic founder and president of the fast growing stream of Joy International, a seasoned pastor and leader, a consummate conference speaker and leadership coach. So they are having a live stream every day. We can join them. Listen to this. You are in a marriage or you're in a relationship. When you have talked and the talk is not doing it and all that, please, I need you to switch level. I need you to understand it's time to, especially for those who are married, it's time for you to switch to another. I mean, you need to be spiritual enough to understand that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against power. Every day you are positioning attack with the man. He, why is he dating that girl? Why is he dating that girl? Why is he dating that girl? And every day you are, you are, you know, quarreling and all that. No, no, no. Don't quarrel again. You have complained enough. Next time when he's sleeping in the night, cross your hand over his life. As you cross it like this and he thinks it's a romantic hug you are giving him, you are beginning to speak to his spirit and you call him by name. If his name is okay, you could say, okay, you could hear me as I hear the Lord right now. From today onwards, I speak to your spirit. Disconnect from that girl. Disconnect from that girl. Disconnect from, disconnect from that girl. In the name of... And okay, Chuku, the next time that girl will see you, she will see the glory of God. I impart it into your life. I impart it because the weapons of our warfare are not canal. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. So please stop complaining. Stop trying to. You have complained enough. You have, you have quarreled enough. Please switch the battle. I want you to take the battle to a different level altogether. Because the truth is that you are seeing the serpent while the devil is responsible. You are seeing the serpent while the devil is responsible. Or as it is, a woman actually did this. I gave it as a funny example someday in my church while I was preaching. And the woman came back and told me, Pastor, it really worked. And what was the example? And I was talking, I said, some of you here, you'll be quarreling with your husband. Say, my husband does not bring out money. My husband does not bring out money. I said, no, don't quarrel again. Allow him to sleep off. The next time he's sleeping, lay hands on him. And as he's sleeping, tell him, call him by name and say, listen to me right now. Wherever you kept that money, give it to me, I'm your wife. Release it. Release that money. Release that money. Release that money. And you know, whenever it has to do with money, women jump on that prayer point. And the woman went and jumped on the prayer point and began to command the husband to release money and all that. And then she said to me, Pastor, do you know this is something I've been begging this man since to do? Next, in the next morning, I didn't even remind him more. He just called me and said, Honey, how much is that thing that you want? He said, I looked at him. I told him, okay, if you give me so, so and so, I will manage. My husband gave me twice the amount. What we were supposed to, child of God, when a woman learns to pray, there will be less conflict in the house. When a man learns to pray, you find out that there are times when a, if a, a spouse is talking too much and you know that this one is not of God. Please switch into prayer mode. Begin to say to shut up in Jesus' name. Don't say it out, oh. Don't say it out, oh. Don't, don't say it out. Just be saying it in your mouth. When you're just, 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 just the name of Jesus, keep quiet. Keep quiet. And by the time you're saying keep quiet, keep quiet, you just see the person, the person will just shut up like that. And all that. But the problem with you is that you want to answer. Uh -uh. How can you say I'm a fool? You can say that. No, it's okay. He's not the one calling you a fool because he will soon apologize. Believe if you ever saw my, I mean, Pastor saw my wife, you will never believe and all that. One day, I believe she will come and tell you her own story so that you will understand what was worrying her at that time. But the truth of the matter is that I, I, at the point I realized, because the reason why you want to opt out of that marriage is that you think he's, he's the man that is doing it. The reason why you want to, I'm closing it, I'm walking away. Who does he think he is? Nya, 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 nya. No. I want you to realize there are more things you need to do. Settle those things in the realm of the spirit. And by the time you're able to settle them appropriately in the realm of the spirit, you're going to discover that everything is going to be fine and everything is going to be good.